Hello, Facebook friends, hello. Hello, Facebook friends, hello. I'm feeling real spinny, so let's start the show. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's spin around, I can't see anything. There you go. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Justin. It is so lovely to see you. Oh my gosh, what a bunch of silliness that was. Just everybody just... <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, today is a special day because this is 80 days. This is 80 days of reading. 80, 80, 80 days. Woo! 80 days, yay! I'm going to see how long you'll clap. It comes, if this was an effect, it'd come down to be like 80 days of Tazzy. There we go. We don't have, uh, we don't have that kind of effect, so instead it'll just, it'll be like uh, 80 days of Tazzy. There we go. With a pencil that doesn't write... Lovely graphic. There you go. So there you go. That was the uh, fancy. We spent our whole budget uh, on that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I hope you're having a great Saturday morning. I've already been up and I had to go to Lowe's to get some stuff for the trailer. And I had to return some stuff for Lowe's. And the lady's like, are you sure you bought this stuff here? And I went... I don't know, actually, to be honest with you. And she goes, we don't even sell this product. I said, okay, well, then no. <laughs> I don't remember where I get it. I don't keep my receipts. I'm not uh, a responsible at all. But I still deserve a puppy, just to let you know. Hey, I'm going to let you know. Uh, also, I will not be reading tomorrow morning. I am. It is my friend's birthday, and I'm going to take him uh, for a birthday breakfast, a socially distant uh, birthday breakfast. So, um, hmm. Uh, so it's my buddy Dougie's birthday. We should sing happy birthday to Doug. That's what we'll do. We'll sing happy birthday to Doug. <laughs> I'm going to just tell him. I'm just going to quickly send him a text to tune in. Uh, I'm going to sing happy birthday to you. Trying to entertain people while this is Oh, Miss Christie's on. here. <laughs> <laughs> Rob just asked, could you honestly say that you would have seen this happening when it started? No, I thought it was going to be uh, uh, two books. No, I knew it was going to be longer uh, because I, in my heart I knew that this was going to be longer than anybody expected. But I didn't think it'd be 80 books. And I, I did thought, I, to be honest with you, I was going to do it, but I didn't think anybody would care about watching. So I'm glad you are. Here we go. Um, uh, his, oh, his birthday's not actually till uh, next week. <laughs> so, ah, I'll see, if he if he tunes back in, if I see him there, we'll sing. If not, I'm going to read a couple books. Um, this book is I haven't uh, checked it out yet, but it's uh, Neil Gaiman and uh, his instructions. It's called Instructions: Everything You'll You Need to Know on Your Journey. So I'm going to do read that and then uh, another book. That's what we'll do. One of the other ones. I got the buttons over here. Unless this one takes too long and I've already been yakking. So here we go. Harper Collins, thank you very much for letting me read this book. There is some pretty amazing artwork in here and the artwork is by Charles Vess. Where do I know that name from? Charles Vess. Charles Vess. Do you want to Google Charles Vess and see what else he's done, please? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm going to take the cover off because otherwise it just sort of seems to mess me up. Here we go. We're not the cover. Good morning, Renee. How are you? Sister Renee. We're, going to read, we're reading this book. It's called Instructions. Touch the wooden gate in the wall you've never seen before. Say please before you open the latch to go through. Walk down the path. A red imp hangs from a green painted front door as a knocker. Do not touch it. It will bite your fingers. Walk through the house. Take nothing. Eat nothing. Ha! 
However, if any creature tells you that it hungers, you feed it. If it, tell you, if it tells you that it's dirty, clean it. If it cries when it hurts, you can, if you can, ease its pain. I like this book. From the back garden, you'll be able to see the wild wood. The deep well you walk past leads to Winter's Realm. There is another land at the bottom of it. If you turn around here, you can walk back safely. You will lose no face. I will think no less of you. Once through the garden, you will be in the wood. The trees are old. Eyes peer from the undergrowth. Beneath the twisted oak sits an old woman. She may ask you for something to give her. She will always point the way to the castle. Inside it, there are three princesses. Do not trust the youngest. Walk on. In the clearing beyond the castle, the twelve months sit about a fire, warming their feet, exchanging tales. They may do favors for you, if you're polite. You may pick strawberries in December's frost. Trust the wolves, but do not tell them where you're going. The river can be crossed by the ferry, and the ferryman will take you. The answer to his question is this. If he hands the oar to his passengers, he will be free to leave the boat. Only tell him this from a safe distance. If an eagle gives you a feather, keep it safe. Remember that giants sleep too soundly, that witches are often betrayed by their appetites, and dragons have one soft spot. Somewhere, always, hearts will be well hidden, and if you betray them, and you can betray them with your tongue. Do not be jealous of your sister. Know that diamonds and roses are as uncomfortable when they tumble down from one's lips as toads and frogs. Colder too and sharper they cut. I like that if you say bad words. Sometimes people use beautiful words to hurt. That's right. Remember your name. Do not lose hope. What you seek will be found. True ghosts, oh sorry, trust ghosts, ghosts, not goats. You can trust them if you want to. Trust ghosts, trust those that you have helped to turn you into their turn. I'll try that again. Trust ghosts, trust those that you have helped to help you in their turn. Trust dreams, trust your heart, and trust your story. When you come back, return the way you came. Favors will be returned and debts repaid. That's a great metaphor. On the way up, on the way down, right? Do not forget your manners and do not look back. Move forward. Ride the wise eagle and you shall not fall. Ride the silver fish, and you shall not drown. Ride the gray wolf, but hold tightly to its fur.
Where is a worm at the heart of the tower? There is a worm at the heart of the tower. And that is why it will not stand. Oh, in other words, the smallest thing can topple the biggest thing. When you reach the little house, the place where your journey started, you will recognize it. Although it will seem much smaller than you remember, walk up the path through the garden gate you never saw before but once. When you go back home, it'll seem like smaller because you've seen so much more of the world. And then go home, or make a home, or rest. That's kind of a cool book. Yeah, it's, yeah. Usually I read such silly books, but that one's a really great one. Miss Chris, you'll like that one. Now, see, that was just all lessons. So, you know, walk the path, the path, and be, 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 have manners. And, and uh, when you go back home, it's going to seem, it might be smaller, but it's always going to be home. Yep, yep, yep. So now I can read Pete the Cat, or I'm so embarrassed. Let's read Pete the Cat. There we go. Pete the Cat, a pet for Pete. There we go. From one extreme to the other. <laughs> Here we go. Pete is going to the pet store. He's going for a pet. Pete wants a bird, a hamster, or a lizard. But when Pete sees a goldfish, that's what I want, says Pete. Pete's mom gets fish food. I'll call you Goldie, said Pete to his new pet. You're my first pet, Pete says Goldie on the way home. Pete takes Goldie to his room. He feeds her fish food. Now what? Says Pete. He can't play with Goldie. He can't swim with Goldie. But he knows what he can do. You can take him for a walk, maybe. No, you don't take him for a walk. Pete paints a picture of Goldie. He paints four fins and an orange tail. What a pretty painting, says Pete's mom. You can keep it, says Pete. Cool painting, says Bob. Can you make one for me? Sure, says Pete. Pete, Pete paints a picture for Bob. Wow, it looks just like Goldie. <laughs> Well, maybe he can only paint Goldie. I don't know. Bob shows Pete's painting to his friend Tom. Now Tom wants a painting too. Pete paints another picture of Goldie to take to school for show and tell. He's got the Goldie art down pretty good. This is Goldie, my pet fish, Pete tells the class. Cute fish. Cool colors. Nice work. I wish I had a picture of Goldie, says Benny. I'll make you one, says Pete. Everybody in Pete's class wants a picture of Goldie. Pete's grandma wants a painting, too. Pete has a lot to do. He has to feed Goldie. He has to do his homework. Those are important things. You've got to feed Goldie and do your homework. See, if we had a puppy, I could feed my homework to the puppy. One step. That's all I'm saying. Pete paints and paints, and he makes paintings for everybody on his list. At last, Pete's is done. He worked hard, and there's no paint left. clean them so you can't even tell what colors they were except for the labels. It's how much paint he used all the paint. Pete's paintings were a big hit and Pete is happy to be done. But Pete is not done. Now everybody in town wants a painting of Goldie. Pete goes and gets more paint. I don't know what I don't know what to do, he says, I don't know what to do, he says to his mom. 
I wish I could paint pictures for everybody. I just don't have time. Pete's mom has an idea. She tells it to Pete. Great idea, mom. So Pete gets right to it. This time he works outside and makes a huge painting. Oh, like a mural. He's made a big mural. Honk, honk, beep, beep. Here comes Pete. He's made one of the greatest paintings of Goldie for everybody in the town to enjoy. There you go. That's a way to solve a problem. <laughs> what a great day. When Pete gets home, he tells the real Goldie all about it. Well, then I painted this big picture of you, and now you're famous. The end. <laughs> that was a quite a different book. The two of them, completely different kinds of books, eh? Well, there you go. That's my reading for today. That was day 80. Day 80, and that was book 295 and 296. Oh, it's awesome. But, you know, the, the one book was teaching all about lessons, and the other book was uh, a little bit about you can't always going to be able to please everybody so try to try your hardest i think that's the one that's it always try your hardest i you know sometimes when i uh don't try my hardest that's when i feel like i'm not making a big difference right i did the try my hardest all the time well i'm gonna let you get going because it is later than i thought because i have a tendency to talk a lot so make sure you take the time even though today is not a school day Exercise your brain, exercise your body, and make sure that you are happy with your emotions. And I mean, what I mean by happy with your emotions is make sure that you understand that all the emotions that you're having are important and they're yours. And you can share them with the people that you trust. Remember, it's okay to get mad, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be afraid, and it's okay to be frustrated with the people around you. But um, be kind. A, B, K, always be kind. That's what we want to happen. Always be kind. Always be kind. I choose to always be kind. And be yourself. Be you. Be you. Be you. If you like to dress a certain way or if you want to act a certain way as long as it's kind. And uh, you like different things than everybody else. Good. Be different. Be yourself. Be as weird as you want to be because weird is awesome. Yes, awesome. I bet you if you go through history and you with everybody that was ever called weird in their life, they were uh, artists and people that created change. So be you and don't worry about being perfect because in all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect. You've just got to be you. So lots of love from Miss Christy and I. And I won't be here tomorrow morning, so please remember that. Um, but I will be here tomorrow night. So I'll talk. Oh, and I'll be there tonight. I'll be there tonight, but just remember tomorrow I'm not going to be there. I think I'm going to be here. I'm here tonight. I'm here tonight. Oh, I'm going to go have a very confusing day, I think. Have a good day. Bye-bye.